Andrew Hogue here on andrewhogue.com, Australia's only dedicated 24-7 rock metal radio station. I have the pleasure and the privilege of being in the company of some greats in the world of heavy, heavy music. John Garcia and Brant Bjork from, of course, formerly Caius Lives, but Vista Chino. Welcome to andrewhogue.com and uh, Soundwave 2013. Thank you. Hey, all right. Well, let's just jump right into it and talk a bit about, uh, you know, the recent sort of name change and, if anything, the sort of new beginning of, uh, or I guess a rebirth of a, of a new band, New Beginning, Clean Slate, Vista Chino. How does it feel now to sort of uh, put the Caius legal battles behind you as far as a name change and kicking off with some brand new music under a Vista Chino name? It feels fantastic. Um, you know, we... We're, John and I are very, very proud of, of Caius and what we do as a band, and we're certainly very proud of the name, but it got to a point where it was getting exhausting uh, trying to, uh, you know, legally fight for our name, so we wanted to get back to what we're most interested in, which is performing and making music, and so we decided to just change the name and get on with with our passion and that's why we changed the name to Vista Chino. Now the Caius name as we know is just an absolute legacy of, of great music and it's going to be hard for some fans to sort of remove the the name in their minds. I mean it's not a matter of squashing the past at all because it's always going to be there but how do you think Caius fans especially diehard ones will embrace Vista Chino even though it's still going to be the same feel and passion of music that you guys put into Caius. Are you sort of concerned about how it will be viewed once you know the Caius name is put to rest and Vista Chino is a sort of new beginning? Well, the new music's fantastic. I mean, it's, it's, we approach this music the way we approached all the music we've ever done together. We made the music that we felt we wanted and needed to make and the music that makes us feel good. And You know, it's like, you know, at some point you just realize you can't really, you know, we can't really, we don't know how people are going to react or, or accept yeah. or embrace uh, these kinds of transitions and stuff, with, certainly with a name. But, you know, when we were younger and we were making the music in the beginning, we didn't know how people were going to react to our music and our name then. So, yeah. uh, so the only thing we can really do is do what we do. Well, when you just said that, it sort of made me realise in the sense that it's still going to be Caius, but obviously just a different name. People just hear it and just go, awesome. But do you think it's going to be hard for people to, especially if they come to a show and go, yeah, I'm going to go see Caius. Oh, hang on, sorry, Vista Chino. Do you think it's going to be hard for people to remove the name, even though they're still hearing Caius music, if this makes any sense to you guys? I think it's going to be difficult until they hear the music. Yeah. Because names have to do with the mind and the music has to do with the soul and feeling and once they hear the music then um, I think any true m musical lover or fan will, won't have any confusion anymore because they'll get lost in just enjoying the music which is what it's all about. When can we expect the Vista Chino release to be out and elaborate a bit on uh, the feel of, of everything I mean how it's all sort of coming along? We would like to have it uh, come out in um, August or September of this year it, it would be nice there might be a Delays. Delay, you know, delay. Uh, but Brent and I, along with Bruno Fever, we're, we're very much looking forward to this. Um, it's not, you know, it's something that that's, um, I think came very natural to, to Brent and myself and, and to Bruno um, to have this be, um, uh, this be, released and 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 to to play in a band with brent bjork again is and as well as bruno fever it's a pleasure to me and i'm very lucky yep um that's 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 really the 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 key thing here is that i'm fortunate to even be sitting here with you and to brent and be talking about this new record and something that we don't take for granted yep. at all i mean let's face it we're, we're we're very lucky and that's that's the important thing here um, just to be present to what's happening. To be present, to, to be right here. Um, we're all family men, and, and that's important to yep. remember, too, and first and foremost, and be husbands and fathers, and we all are, and we appreciate that. But to be here in Australia touring with this amazing group of bands and, of course, Metallica and, 
and I don't know you from a hole in the ground, but to be talking to, to you across the desk about Vistachino, it's something that um, we appreciate. Yeah. And, and again, we don't take for granted. I get a sense of, uh, you know, relief from you as well, just getting your, uh, you know, feeling your vibe, so to speak, that the Kai's Battle stuff is over and it's like a, a total rebirth that, you know, there is new music coming and uh, time to unleash it. Now, let's talk about new generations of fans because the past is always going to be there <coughs> and uh, obviously there are some, you know, new, new fans that are out there and... Uh, what are you hoping for for them to get out of uh, the music of uh, Vista Chino? Well, we're hoping that the new generation of fans uh, get out of our music what we hoped people would get out of our music 20 years ago. And, um, you know, we're just bringing a vibe and a feeling and an energy. And it happens to, happens to be wrapped up in rock music. And it's the same vibe and feeling and energy that John and myself and everybody else in, in the band got out of the music that we grew up on. And... Um, uh, you know, it's it's maybe not so hip to use this word these days, but organic is the word I like to use. And organic represents the music that we grew up on, and it's a spirit that we um, that we pridefully um, carry that flag now in, into rock rock music. You know. Yeah. Now let's talk. Of course, we are on Soundwave 2013, and it's pretty much a full circle thing. Uh, you know, especially for John as well. That. Um, you know, touring with Metallica when, of course, the Australian tour was 1993. Now, I went to that tour, and I've got a memory of uh, you, John, diving into the crowd and then watching security throw you out of the venue, thinking that he was a crowd surfer. Wait, I could, I literally, because I, I re totally recall this, I was right in the front of the barrier, and uh, I just remember seeing you just sort of pushing the uh, security back. You were just trying to fight your way back onto the stage. Banders kept playing for about 10 or 15 minutes until... He disappeared. Do you have any recollection of that uh, of that moment? There's a reason why I kind of blocked some of that stuff out. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I, no, I I don't remember that. But to to play with Metallica back there and then to have it be here in the now and in the present, um, it's very fitting. Yep. I think for for Brent and I, especially with the you know the the uh, you know say la vie and disembarkment of, of, of Gaius and that name and, and to to um, to embark in on this, this 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 new um, this new animal Vistachino we're, we're we're very excited to do that yeah super super excited the general topic I've thrown into a lot of bands I've spoken to throughout the festival especially bands that have had uh, uh, you know some longevity in their career is uh, the changes in the music industry it's obvious it's 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 you know some would say the internet is a necessary evil in a lot of ways. Uh, how do you view, have you looked into certain ways to sort of uh, approach the new record of Vista Chino to the sort of newer generation, the sort of digital age, so to speak, on, a, on how to reach a, 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 you know, a possible new generation of fans? Well, uh, you know, there's an old saying that you just, you know, in the creative process, you just do what you know. And, um, uh, Caius, I mean, we made uh, analog records in the early 90s, and for Vista Chino, that's what we did. You know, we made an analog record, and we made it the way that we made all the old Caius records. And, um, you know, we're, we're not anti-digital technology. We're just, we're just um, comfortable with the classic format. Uh, our, our particular art was, was born with that particular format and we don't see anything wrong with that so we, we focus on um, releasing vinyl releases yep. you know John and I collected records when we were kids you know and um, so we just want to provide that kind of those kind of rituals for the consumer and our fans you know because it's fun it's just fun man yep. and uh, sonically we, we, we like the way it sounds too so um we're just kind of, we're, we're trying to combine be the best of both worlds, you know. Well, good stuff. And again, I'm looking forward to hearing uh, the brand new music. So again, keep us posted here on andrewhogue.com. We support all forms of uh, heavy, heavy music. We can get you guys to say a couple last words to uh, not only Australian fans, but as fans across the world. This is a global station on uh, anything you'd like to talk about. Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to just say thank you to uh, certainly all our Australian fans. Uh, and uh, Australia has been a great country. They've embraced Caius 
It was the first country that we played outside of the United States. We're very proud to say that. And also all our fans across the world, and thank you for your support, and you make uh, doing what we do uh, more pleasurable. And I guess you can fight amongst yourselves to choose your favorite uh, Kaius track from the back catalog. What one that uh, you can both agree on at least and go, yeah, dude. Oh. Why don't we just do um, the classic, what really, I think, what the epitome of, of Kaius. Why don't we just do Green Machine? Why don't <laughs> we do that? lots of plays on andrewhope.com, I'll tell you. Let's do that. All right, lock it in. Thanks again for your time, Brent and John. Let's check out some uh, Kaius now on andrewhoag.com. Awesome.